Speaking of concerts, Kara's mm. back for a segment that we call Things to Care About. And um, I'm excited. Okay. First yes. of all, I do love a good concert. Mm -hmm. You and I both do. Yes. Um, and do you remember what your first concert was? My first concert, I believe, was 1991. I was kind of, my my parents deprived me, I guess. 91? Yeah. Were you in college? <laughs> What's happening with Gene? He had, it was Paula Abdul's Under My Spell oh, Tour. Oh, yeah. yeah. Straight up. Was yeah. that the one, that yeah. album? Uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. Oh, yes. Spellbound was the album. And she came out of the like the ceiling in this purple glittery ball, and she was like, "Rush, rush, hurry, oh, hurry!" Love. I you loved that? that song. <laughs> yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. I, I was can't. obsessed with her, Whitney, and Janet. Those were like my yes. three patron. Like I was like, "Dear mm. Lord, how's Whitney? How's Janet? How's Paula?" Yes, I yeah. love them all as well. <laughs> Madonna too. Madonna was in there, but I was really mm. into Janet and Paula. Yeah, me too. And Whitney. Yeah. I was them mm -hmm. more so than Madonna. Sorry if yeah. you're in town watching. Yeah, I love um, Madonna. Well, I'm gonna age She's myself. Lisbon. Okay. My first concert was my. No, back it up. The Jackson Five, not even Michael Jackson solo. That is impressive. The Jackson Five and a I'm group so named Foxy opened for him. Google it, people. They had a one-hit wonder. <laughs> On our Facebook page, tell us the song that Foxy sang. <laughs> if you're close to 50, mm -hmm. as I am, you'll know mm -hmm. it. That's yeah. a good concert. That's a good concert. Hold on, what? Yeah, Lance they're Snow. singing it. Get no, up. Lance. No, Don't, I'm not giving not, anyone a clue. That's the wrong name. Okay, uh, so well, we're I talking became, about concerts. Yes, I became infatuated with um, Taylor Swift recently because I'm not a Swifty, but I, I mean, I like her. I fine. Like her enough. Yeah, yeah. Um, but there are some people, you know, that live for Taylor Swift. So this woman who writes for the New York Post saw her three times in 72 hours, but she'd also seen the previous tour in 1989, Ooh. like two times. And it, it, it's a common theme. Like people who go see Taylor will see her multiple times during a show. So this is, this is a reputation tour that's going on right now. And apparently her concerts, I have not seen her live, but are just out of control. That's the writer right there. But this is also the cool thing that Taylor does is um, you know, meet and greets for a lot of artists. Like you have to know somebody. Your dad has to work for a, a radio station, a record producer. Your mom has to be like get you in, right? Totally. Um, or you pay a ton of money to see your stars. Taylor, like pub. Taylor's publicist will reach out to you and say, "We want you in the reputation room," and then you just get to meet her. And it's very cool, and it doesn't cost extra money. Wow. Yeah. So she's always kind of doing things like I that for like her that fans. She is uh, so appreciative of her fans. Yes. Like that's one of the things I always have respected ever since, gosh, she was starting and came up. And, right. You know when. I always felt like she really gave them that love and attention that maybe a lot of people are like, eh. Right. You know. well, I think her image is very curated. Yes. However, Good I word. do think that she um, that she does care, and she, you know, she obviously she wouldn't do all those things. But then I got I was down Taylor Swift rabbit hole, y'all. So then there was this paparazzi video of her coming out of her apartment in New York, and this was not that long ago. Here she is. Okay, so these fans have been waiting for hours. And she walks straight to her car and does not smile, does not sign any autographs, doesn't even really look in their direction. This is another one that producer Lance just liked because somebody's trying to get a picture of her and she turns to the side. So he can make Ooh, her face. Okay. But um, so oh, wow. the question Looking becomes <laughs> she's so funny. Walking sideways. She's great vining to the car. Yes. Um, so the question is, does she owe her fans in that moment a autograph or a wave. Now, here's what I thought originally. My gut instinct was, of course she does. Like, she wouldn't be anywhere if she doesn't have her fans. Then my second thought was after contemplating it, I thought, you know what? She, <laughs> she, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> I'm like, you know what? She lives in New York. That is her home. Like, your home should be your right. sanctuary, right? She probably lives in a building with a lot of other people that don't love that they, that Taylor Swift lives in their, their building. building. So there's probably lots of paparazzi and fans outside all the time. So maybe she was leaving and as a way to not engage them as like, because if she would have smiled or stopped and signed autographs, maybe the crowd would have been bigger the next time. Right. However, Taylor Swift can probably leave and go places without being noticed. Like I'm sure she has underground parking. So why didn't she just do that? Or maybe she was trying to send a message to her fans. I don't know. I don't know. And I'm, I'm with you because I think, look, she owes it to her fans. Mm -hmm. But by the same token, they are people who want privacy, and maybe she was having a bad moment. Maybe she had a lot on her mind. Who knows? Right. So there's got to be able to be a balance. Sure. Um, and I, I'm, although I'm not sure with her that's even ever possible, as we're seeing. Right. You know, because now I'm sure people are like, oh, 
well, look at her being, yeah. giving us the sideways walk sure. and not wanting. Like, I'm sure that was so disappointing if you'd been waiting there all day. However, if I would have been waiting to see somebody, even just to see her walk to her car, I'd probably be like, I'm dead. You know. Yeah. I'm very easy to believe. I, I will say this, and you know this, that sometimes we the stars that we've had, or mm -hmm. I've been on a press junket, and I know that these stars are... And you know, they're right. going through a lot of interviews, I get it, but in that case, they're promoting a movie, and sometimes I'm really disappointed at how you can sure. tell they absolutely don't want to be there, or almost like they're miserable, and right. to that, to me, kills me, like, oh my gosh, seriously, smile, have fun, you're promoting your movie, but that's, of course, during a junket. In this case, like, I, I would expect them to be a little She's more She's coming lively. out of her home, and going this... to a recording studio. What if she would have lived in the suburbs, and people would have just, like, crowded around the gate, where she knew the ca her car would yeah, come. I feel you know? like when you're walking, when you're on your own, your own time, you know, trying to live your life, it is a little bit different. Sure. And, and you can, you can, I mean, it is kind of also surprising. Also on a junket, wave. that is so annoying. I do have to say, I've got your back on that because that's, that should be just as part, just as much a part of your job if it's in your contract that you promote your movie that as it is when you act in the movie, I think. Well, I mean, I know it because it is contractual for a lot of them. They're not doing it for funsies. No, and they, remember twice now who I've interviewed, who is one of my heroes. <laughs> oh. I'll give you a hint. His name rhymes with Bill <laughs> Merrill. Yeah, figure it out, folks. And he was not only like not yes. not like I know you don't have to be funny because mm -hmm. you're a comedian, mm -hmm. but right. I mean that blows my. Now we're going off on a tangent. I'm sorry. No, but that but, I heard that from many people. So if you're promoting a movie, we like please just try and act like right. you are happy to be there, as I mentioned. But in this case with Taylor, circling back, sure. it's a tough call because she deserves to have some private moments where she doesn't have to be on. Right. Exactly. Don't you like just going to the grocery yes. store, Kara, with your baseball <laughs> please, cap? No. <laughs> and, and just your slippers and not worrying about yes, it. Yes, um, I do. And I have to say, just my, I'm sorry, my mind is just com like full of, have you ever interviewed somebody that you, can, you were like, that person is so sexy, I cannot concentrate? <laughs> well, let me really think. Didn't. In person, in person, in yes. person. Uh -huh. Let me think this through. You I got know him. the guy who was in... Um, his name's Joel Eggerson. Joel Eggerson? Is that his last name? I saw your <gasps> interview with him. He, you I'm telling you guys. You were swooning. <laughs> you were swooning. I don't mean, but I really have seen a lot of famous people in my day, and he was so handsome and so engaging, <sighs> looked me right in my eyes, now had an accent. Nice. That's, yeah. Oh, my God. Yeah. I, in, in fact, there was like some technical difficulties, so we were <laughs> talking, and I was like, I'm married. I have two kids. Trying to make conversation, so and he's like, he's like, I didn't ask. I'm right, okay. he's like, uh, okay. But he was so handsome, he was so nice. Now, I've interviewed, like, oh, they're getting a yes, picture okay, of him right now. Was, like, I've interviewed, I like, Josh Dumel, who I adore, yes. or Bradley Cooper, but they were via satellite. So, right, meaning right. they're in another city. Sure. I'm here. It's yeah. not the same energy. It's not the same. No, no. And, um, there he is. Oh, You guys, I'm telling sexy. you, in person. Oh, oh yes. yes, I love oh. Lance. Now listen, How could you say you don't? Lance is saying he doesn't know if he agrees with me, and you know what? Maybe it's not doing him justice right there. But in person, I'm telling you, you know, some people just have that swagger, sex, sex yes. appeal. They yes. got, he does have sexy, uh -huh, dreamy uh -huh, eyes. Uh -huh, uh -huh, well, uh -huh. you know, I'm still waiting on, <laughs> waiting, <laughs> yeah. waiting, waiting. If you're waiting. watching, Jason, Jason where are Bateman. you? I'm, I'm, I'm gonna hang on. I'm gonna Nancy Grace it, Jason. Where are you? <laughs> yes, thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. It's still, he was supposed <laughs> to make an appearance for my birthday, maybe. That never happened. Mm -hmm. One of these days, but I will support him when season two <gasps> Three. comes out. No, it's two? only two seasons. Yes. Oh, my God. You've got to watch. Where I can't have y'all been? Ozark. Ozark. Oh my God. So okay, so we went woo, we really around did. that block. But at the end of the We're day, still on. give famous people a break, I think. You yeah. know? Yeah. Just give her a break. Just give her a break. She does a lot. Yeah. And I when you so. see Kara, though, you don't need to give her a break because she's so sweet and friendly. Please approach her no matter what she's doing. Please. Yes. Yes. Do it. It won't be awkward at all. No, never.